In this section, we will talk about dynamic app inspection. Why dynamic app inspection? Let's analyze the following scenario when this client computer is trying to send a package to this server. First of all, the client will check its app table for the MAC address of the server and it finds that the app table is empty. So it has to send the app request for the MAC address of the server and the app request is flooded to all the ports of the switch. The server listen to the package and it finds that the package is for itself so it update the app table for the address of the client and then send the app reply back to the client and the client computer update the app table everything would be fine if there is no attacker sitting over here the attacker is also listen to the app request from the client and is update its app table for the address of the client and it's keep sending the gratuitous app reply to the client and you can see the app table of the client is poisoning and over a long period of time the attacker could eventually take over the address of the server man in the middle attack as you can see after taking over the mac address of the server on the client's app table this network device is now handling all the package from the client and in order to make sure that the client is still receiving the package from the server this network device is forwarding the package from the client to the server and it will happen like this the client thing that is sent to the server but is sent to this network device and this network device after read all the package contents it will forward the package to the server the server know that it have to reply to the client so it send back the requested information to the client so as a result the client's package contents are being extracted and that's why this network device is called man in the middle attack how dynamic app inspection setup just like DHCP snooping dynamic app inspection we first need to configure with the trusted post in the trusted post no inspection perform all other posts are considered as untrusted posts and in the untrusted post the app package gets inspected dynamic app inspection relies on the app access list to verify the app package from computers configured with static IP address and it will rely on the DHCP snooping database to verify the app package for computers configured with dynamic IP address
how dynamic app inspection works. We will use the same example when we have this client computer trying to send packets to this server. However, in this case, we have the switch configure with dynamic app inspection. And we have this port and this port are configured as a just a port. All other ports are non just a port. Now the client computer send the package to the server. It first need to check in the app table for the MAC address of the server. However, it find that the app table is empty, so it have to send the app request to the switch and the switch forwarded the app request to all of its ports. The server listen to the package and find that the package is for itself, so it first need to update its app table for the address of the client and then send the app reply back to the client and the client update its app table for the MAC address of the server. In this case, the server can respond to the app request of the client without any inspection because it connected to the trusted port. Now, this network device is trying to spoof the MAC address of the server, so it first need to update its app table for the address of the client and it send the app reply back to the client. However, it is in the non-trusted port so the switch intercept the app reply package for the information and it will first check with the app access list however in this case this network device is a DHCP client so it have to move on to check in the DHCP snooping database and the switch file unmatched in the app reply of the network device so it dropped the app reply package thus is that's how dynamic app inspection works dynamic app inspection configuration as you know dynamic app inspection relies on the DHCP snooping database to verify the app reply from the DHCP client's computers. Therefore, if there are some DHCP client's computers in your network, you first need to enable and configure DHCP snooping on the switch then you can globally enable dynamic app inspection for specific VLAN. The command is IP app inspection VLAN VLAN range. If in your network there's some client's computers configured with the static IP addresses and you do not want to configure the post that connect to those client's computers as a just a post, you need to configure the app access list to 
permit those clients computers to send the app reply to configure the app access list you first need to go to the configuration mode then issue the command app access list and then you provide the access list name then in the access list you permit the host that configure with the static IP address by providing the IP address of the host and the MAC address of the host in this command and as you can see this command is allow only one single host to send the app reply you can repeat this same command as many as the number of the client's computers configure with the static IP address after that you can apply the app access list to the VLAN and the command is IP app inspection filter and then you keep in the app access list name that you configure in this step and then VLAN and then you provide the VLAN range as you know the switch when first check with the app access list and if it doesn't find the match it will move on to check the DHCP snooping database however if you keep in the statics over here so it will stop here and skip checking the DHCP snooping database after you enable dynamic app inspection you should configure the post that connects to another switch and also the post that connects to the servers as the just a post to do that you go to the interface configuration mode and issue the command IP app inspection just after you issue that command the switch doesn't check the app reply coming to the post and it will forward the app reply package right away to make the switch validate that the app reply package is really coming from the address listed inside it you go to the configuration mode and issue the command IP app inspection validate so MAC address destination MAC address or IP address and here's the detail information to display the dynamic app inspection status you issue the command show IP app inspection that is that is all about dynamic app inspection